I'm all about making divorce affordable. Did you know that the average cost of a divorce is $15,000? It's a lot of money. It has a big impact on your family's financial status at a time when you really can't afford it. And it puts legal advice out of the reach of many, many people who need it. I know there's a better way, a less costly way and a more peaceful way to divorce. So today I'm gonna to talk about things you can do that will decrease the cost of your divorce. I'm going to talk about actions and attitudes that can increase the cost. They're all things within your control. And so if you can master them, you will be able to reduce the financial impact of a divorce on your family. 10 actions that can increase the cost of your divorce. Number one, rushing the process because impatience actually slows the process down. You need a lot of financial information to make the very best decisions for yourself and getting all those documents together can take time. Number two, trying to wrest control of the process away from the professionals you've hired to help you, even though they know how to make a divorce process efficient. Trust them, rely on them. Number three, procrastinating on doing the required tasks and getting your homework done. As I said a moment ago, you need lots of documentation of assets and liabilities and income to make very good decisions. And sometimes it takes time to gather all those documents together. Number four, canceling appointments at the last minute. Sometimes it's very hard to reschedule an appointment in a timely fashion, so that's going to slow you down. Number five, showing up at meetings without the information and documents that you were asked to bring. Again, this relates on everybody having sufficient information to make the best decisions they can. Number six, refusing to get the emotional support you need, such as working with a divorce coach or a therapist to help you navigate this very emotional time in your life. If you're struggling emotionally, you're going to slow the divorce process down, usually unconsciously, but the result is that you're stuck in it for longer than you need to be. Number seven, listening to street talk from your friends and family rather than relying on your divorce professionals. Here again, you need your family and friends for support, but you shouldn't be taking legal advice from them. Every case is very fact specific and their situation may not be similar to yours. Number eight, breaking trust by taking unilateral action regarding your assets or children, such as selling property, overspending, canceling an insurance policy, enrolling children in an activity. This will surprise and scare your spouse and he or she will dig in their heels and put a stop to the process. Number nine, arguing. Arguing is expensive. You've heard me say it before and I'm sure I'll say it again. And number 10, withholding information after requests to produce it. Again, no decisions are going to be made until adequate information has been produced. So withholding information is going to slow you down. Okay, here's your attitudes that can slow you down and increase the cost. Number one, focusing on the past and trying to even the score in your divorce. Doesn't happen in a divorce process. Number two, being overly focused on what is fair or equal rather than what is acceptable. Fair is where we go to ride the tilt a whirl and eat corn dogs. And equality isn't necessarily the best solution for you. Number three, diminishing and blaming your spouse repeatedly during the process. Blame solves nothing. We are moving forward with a focus on the future and not backwards. And there's usually plenty of blame to go around. Number four, Portraying yourself as being and doing all things right and your spouse as being and doing all things wrong, particularly with respect to children. This is an issue that really gets people stuck and unable to reach a resolution. Don't do that. Number five, refusing to acknowledge that you also contributed to the breakdown of the marriage. This can keep you stuck emotionally and will slow things down. Number six, seeking judgment or revenge and wanting to punish your spouse. Florida is a no-fault state. Bad behavior is mostly irrelevant in a divorce case and it will get you stuck and moving nowhere. Number seven, focusing on what you don't want instead of getting clarity on what you do want or on ensuring that your spouse doesn't get what he or she wants. Number eight, engaging in tit for tat 
going low when your spouse goes low. This is a death spiral of mutual assured destruction and it will keep you mired in a, a terrible process for a very long time. Number nine, refusing to see that your spouse has a legitimate perspective. And number 10, related to that, thinking that if you see your spouse's perspective, you have to give up your own perspective. And that's not the case at all. You can try to stand in your spouse's shoes and you can try to make decisions that find acceptable resolutions for each of you. Because if your spouse isn't getting an acceptable resolution, you're not going to either. I hope these tips help keep your divorce process cost under control. And if you need more information, as always, I love to speak to you personally. My phone number is 386-271-8044. And there's tons of information at my website at www.masterscdc.com.